Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Flower Creations. Today we are going to be making a wind ornament. I have this little broken bell here and these cute little cups. So I have two of these, one of these, and this guy's going to go in the middle, and amazing sound. So I'm going to take you through and we're going to make this. So I'm going to take this punch I made, it's really, really sharp, my ball peen hammer. And I want it to sit like this. I want it to hang so you can see it looking correct. So I have the bell here at dead center. And then I have the handles are going to end up being right here. So the handles are going to be right here. That's where I'm going to put the holes. So I put a bunch of lines through. Now I'm going to take. Make sure that I don't have handles on the table because you can see there's a gap. If you hit this, you can knock these handle solder points off. So you want to make sure that it's on the actual piece. And you just need a little dent. So once we get this hole drilled, then we're going to put the punch in and go back through so it's pointed down. And these guys, normally the handles are a pewter or a soft metal of some sort. So I need my bell here. Sweet. And we need this to hang this way. So we're going to put a hole here and a hole here so that we can get our piece to hold it up here. So I'm just going to put that mark as top center, top center. And these you can normally push in. So if you have a piece of leather or something to put around the back of your punch. You just need enough of a dent to get your drill bit started. We're going to do the same down here. So I'm going to use my drill. You can use a drill press. And I'm using a 1 16th inch bit. It's a cobalt bit. So when you're drilling through these handles, they're always going to want to bind on you because of the metal that's in there. So you want to keep pulling it out, drilling down, pulling it out. Also, I have some wax, some beeswax. Uh, I'll use that. Every little bit. So let's get this first one. So I'm keeping the pressure on this piece here. I don't want to have any pressure on my handles.
You don't want to press real hard. Let the drill do the work. So what's on here right now is these little flashing. So we're going to take this now make our hole go down. Doesn't take a whole lot. And we don't want to open up the hole. We just want to get the hole dented so it's pushing down. Quick fix for your um, marker. I always have marker on pieces. Just taking Wipe it off, it's gone. This is just from the dollar store, 50%. Okay, so my holes all feel smooth, both sides. Now we're gonna make our top. So I'm using 45 pound test metal nylon coated wire. It doesn't really have a name. These little crimps here, they're little round crimps. And then we have these flat leader crimps which we'll be using so we're gonna need three of those okay so instantly actually yeah we're gonna put it through Put it back through to make our loop. So this is going to go through here. We need enough to double back over a piece, over another crimp. And we'll go ahead and make that one now. So what I've done is made a loop. Make sure that the wire is pushing out the, the long end or the short end. Okay, we're gonna take our metal hammer again. And this just flattens out. You don't need to get it super flat, you just need a flat. So I'm going to use a pair of wire cutters and my flush cutters. The flush cutter is just going to get this little bit of wire that actually came through. It's not a huge deal, but it can make things look weird. So I'm going to cut this guy right in half. Leaves me with just a little piece. And that's caught. So we don't have a big piece hanging down. So we're going to take this, run this guy down, 
And what I'm doing now is making the center of where my wire is going to be, or my hanging point. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can adjust it later. I think this looks good. I'm going to measure down a little bit further. Snip my wire. Put it through the hole. Put it through the crimp. Loop it back around to the crimp until it hits your finger. I like to take a put my fingernail so I know where it's, I know where the end piece is. It's right there at the very edge. Doesn't need a lot of force. Cut it in half. So now we have our piece. It's hanging now, but if I hang it like this, it's going to be lopsided. So we're going to take and run this down. And we're going to move this over to the middle. I use a little bullet level. Um, this I think I got it at the dollar store. I'm just gonna hold it up by the wire loop here. And you can take something and just kinda hang it up. I just wanna see if this is level. Come on. Generally, it's a little easier. There we go. Now we have level. So this is this this is the way that you want your level to be. This is long ways. Okay, we're good there. So, we're gonna take this, keep a hold of it, crimp it down into place, and now we have our perfectly balanced piece here. So, I have my piece. We need to make wires. So this piece has three hanging. So we're gonna take three of our wires that are pre-made. Oh, oh my gosh, is it Tony? It is this wire. So it is 0 0.015 inches. It's nylon plastic coated wire uh, from Beetle On. Um, it's also called seven strand wire. Um, but what I did was I made those, I tie a knot in them. I put the knot through itself three times and then I pull it tight and then I snip it off. That's amazing. And that is, about one foot. So, but I tie the knot first, right in the very end. And I pull it out, snip it, and you get very consistent pieces. So, then you're gonna take and put a good crimp at the end. And that's what's going to hold up 
your silverware or whatever you're hanging. This one goes in here. Now we need to get these guys ready. So I'll bring it back down here. I really want this guy hanging like this. So where this piece is at, wherever it stops, I'm going to make my dot right there, just on top of my needle. And this guy should be dead center. Yeah, I'm just going to do that dead center. So you see me rotate it. I rotated it so that I can see, because you can't quite see where the top is there, but once you turn it sideways, you can see where center is. We have our pieces, but we want them to hang down lower, so we need some beads. So we're gonna take this off. And this piece up here just has a little loop in it, and the wire hangs from the ceiling. Anything I can get, to kind of hang it so that I can tune it afterwards. So the first part, we did our measurements. The next part is we're just beading right now. So I found some, some crimps that I really like. big bead and then a crimp make sure that you've crimped every bead that you've added a crimp below every bead because it really really sucks having to go back take things apart to put in one crimp I have done it dozens of times it is irritating every single time. Okay. So the easy way to tell that is to see the shiny. Kind of hard to see in the camera, but you can see it on here. So once I'm done with that, that is my last bead, my third small bead. I'm gonna add two crimps. <laughs> I'm gonna add two crimps. And I got this guy. And then normally I'll use one of the old first crimps that I bought. It's not that bad. And I'll put that right on the end. I'm just using a curved nose pliers. So this is gonna hold our crimps in place. Center. 
My headphones are telling me, low battery, please charge. I don't want to. I want you to go on and on and on. You should last more than an hour and a half. Well, I guess it's been three hours, maybe. Uh-oh. Power off. I have no more music. What am I gonna do? No more music. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I still have no music. This is the bell, so this is going to be the same procedure. Immediately cap your crimps because if you don't, you will spill them. Sorry, had to rotate headphones. Ah, music. Okay, so we're coming back up here. Lift slow. Hmm. So we'll bring you up here a little bit. Okay. So, using my round nose pliers. Everything's hanging good. It all looks level. You can probably put this on here now. Close enough. Start with the center bead or with the center piece. This looks pretty good. That's my spot. Oh, you got to Virginia somehow. How 
did you do that? In 17 days you got to Virginia? Leave maybe an eighth of an inch. so pretty. So if this was a wind chime, I would run another strand down further with another wind catch. Um, and I would have also probably dropped two more on the sides. But we just had these three cute little pieces, or two cute little pieces, and then I dug through my drawer of pieces and they tamed really nice. Like you can, they're just so pretty. Just the slightest little breeze will make these start chiming up. And it's not like a giant sound. Awesome. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys uh, have fun trying this, experimenting. I mean, the only limitation is the one we put on ourselves. So I hope everyone keeps making and I will see you next time. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe. Also, click the bell and select all so you get all of our updated videos as soon as they come out.